Since this beat name Euphoria, guess I use this Euphorium. Deploying my soldiers, we destroying these auditoriums. It's way more individual and spiritual. Yo, 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 YouTube, it's your boy Ryder Rebel, and I'm about to walk y'all through the best, best lock build on NBA 2K23. All right, position, small forward. You know, um, handedness don't really matter. Right hand, left hand, choose your drum, um, jersey number, whatever you like. Like, you know me, I'm 21. All right, for the height. For the height, I went with six seven. Weight, two fifteen. And the wingspan, I went with seven one. Body type, that's up to you. It don't really matter. I'm a little like a beast out there. Go ahead, go built. All right, close shot. You put your close shot to fifty. Driving layup, driving layup is going to go to sixty six. Your driving dunk. I put my driving dunk to 80. Standing dunk, you want to put that on 55. And post control, we could just leave that. All right, for your mid range, put that to 76. Three pointer, put that to 85. And your free throw is 62. All right, for your pass, 84 for pass accuracy. You know, you don't want those um, slow passes on this game. It's, the defense can move so fast. If you if your pass accuracy is not up, almost every pass you do is gonna get stolen. Unless, unless you just play on ones all day, you, you need your um, pass accuracy up. All right, my ball handling is on 75. And I didn't really worry about speed with ball. I left that on 45. All right, for the interior defense, 69. All right, it's not the greatest, but you are you are mostly a um, perimeter defender. But 69, you could you could actually play some decent defense on the interior. Um, perimeter defense, put that all the way up to 88. And 88 is more than enough. If if you know what you're doing on the defensive end, you could 88 is good enough for you you already have you're already six seven so you have the size so and still everybody know the the dreaded still instead of maxing it all the way out i got it to 95 95 allows you to get that um gold glove so that's good enough and 80 block that helps with the interior defense you're able to get Get a lot of those blocks. You get you could get your chase down um artists all with a goal, so that helps out with that too. You got and um rebounding. Alright, I'm big on rebounding, so my offensive rebounding is at 80, and I put my defensive rebounding to 93. 93 allows allows me to get um if you look, it's with it changes the rebound chaser from silver to gold. Like I have some crazy rebound games in the in the wreck. And in pro am, so this <laughs> rebounding is a big part of basketball. I don't see why people neglect that. And at being a wing rebounder, like a lot of the wings don't really box out, so you get easy boards almost all the time. All right, speed, I got my speed to 86. Acceleration on um, 79. Strength, 62. With my vert, 70 and put the rest on your stamina that should put you at 94. all right you see the badge layout it's 10 21 15 30 and i'm going to continue these are take <laughs> get the shot you get all the shot create takeovers if you're um if you like taking those off the dribble shots you get a lot of those limitless you get your limitless and your spot up you get all the lockdown badges and you also get the um rebounding badges the rebounding badges at the three is crazy but choose what you want that's it most time when i play i use spot up and either extreme clamps or perimeter badge drop go ahead see 
They compare you to. Don't worry about the um, shades. OG. I remember Jared Wallace used to be a dog on 2K. You you come out with a 3 and D wing. All right, you can test like test the build, going to the tester. But this this build, yeah, I get I get a lot of messages of people asking me what build what build is that when I when I play. Like I said, I get crazy rebound games. I I have high IQ for passing, so I get the rebound and it's it's like it's easy XP. You get you get a lot of boards, you get a lot of steals, you get you could get a lot of assists, you could you could shoot, you could dunk, you could do everything basically. And if if you're already a good defender, you got good anticipation. Um, you're good with that. You got 95 still. So everybody knows how OP glove is. You don't even need a Hall of Fame glove on this game. I don't even know if you need glove, period, honestly. But a 95 still, I get I get crazy plucks. Like all game. This build's not really a dribble. You can still dribble, you get some decent, um decent dribbling. Of course your speed with ball's not that fast, but if, if you're not like a spammer, you could you just do your moves to get where you want to get, and then get your shot off or get to the rim. You could you could still do that. I do that all the time. And strength, like I'm kind of iffy on strength. That's the only thing. Maybe you could. I'll go back and look. Maybe you could change your strength. I don't see like as a perimeter perimeter player, strength is not that important from from my time playing at least. You probably could lower your strength and put those stat, put those points in somewhere else. Let me see if I lower it. Oh, or they start to affect before it. I low, low. Can I put it before? All right. So started affecting my interior. All right. If I if I keep my strength on 44, it probably won't get much points to see how far I can put my driver dunk. I think 84 the driver dunk actually gets you. Um, you could get the LeBron dunk package. But let me see. My three, you only get one point in three. That ain't much. That ain't much. If I know a lot of people, a lot of people are part players, so you probably not worried that much about free throw. But I play a lot of rec and program, so I need at least some sort of free throw for me getting fouled and see pass accuracy. I only get one more point. A little more on ball handling. It's not much, much changing with the taking the strength down. The interior. Oh, you could get a lot more interior defense. Did that give me a bet? Oh, I'm already at 30 badges, so. Uh, perimeter, can you max that out? You only get one point, block. You can max out block, the offense. You could max out your block, so it's not much of a difference. Let me see, vertical. Yeah. Oh, it went back up again. Went back on 40, what was it, on 44? Uh, yeah, it's not much. But you could change with the if you if you want to keep your strength up, like I said, I got my strength on um, 62. If you want to keep it, but if if you want to keep it, you can. Some people don't really worry about interior defense as well, but I like to be kind of balanced. So like sometimes you get switched on the bigger bigger players, so you want to have some kind of interior defense with the with the block, and then you still have the steals. You can still um, strip them down low, but yeah, this this is the build. And like I said, I've been I've been going crazy with it. So make sure y'all like the video, make sure y'all subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.